Hey guys, so today I am filming my Inktober sketchbook tour. All throughout October, I drew every single day with ink and I recorded every single day except I missed a few. Actually, I kind of missed a lot near the end because I had problems with the video and importing. But I'm going to show you my Inktober sketchbook and also the other drawings that I did for Inktober because I got bored of just drawing in my sketchbook. It was just such a small space and usually I paint on like a full piece of watercolor paper. So Inktober was fun and I think that I'll probably do it next year and hopefully I can keep up with uploading every single day. I think I did good this year though for, for this being my first time doing Inktober. Yeah, I think next year though I will do full-size illustrations instead of putting everything into a sketchbook because I think that they just look nicer in the end if I do it on watercolor paper. If you want to know what any of these products are, any of the, the products that I use supplies, then I do have a full video on everything I use for Inktober. I did that at the beginning of the month. So if you want to see that, then I will put that in the description. So I'm gonna show you everything and I'm also going to talk through all of the drawings because I, I wanted to do voiceovers in all of my videos. To do a voiceover on every single one of the videos this month would have been like a lot. So anyway, I'm gonna show you now and talk about all the drawings I did. Okay, so here is my sketchbook. So day one, some gold, I really love this gold watercolor. The, these are the Gonzai Tambi uh, starry colors and I will be doing a review on those. Day two, did an I and some Bs. Flowers. So the sun just went completely away. Day four was a complete fail. This was a portrait, it was a face, and then I painted the face, and then when I was painting the eyebrow, it just bled like all over. I think I painted white over the whole face, and then that dried, I paint, painted black all over it. You, you'll see it all if you watch that video, but basically to this day wasn't very yeah. good. And I'm actually really surprised that the moleskin paper like held up because I put so many layers on here. Day five, I did a hand holding succulents. I actually took a photo of my hand holding a little glass thing with a succulent in it. So that's what I used as reference. Got it. And then day six, I drew a chameleon. I know there's only a little bit of ink in there. I wanted to use watercolor though. I debated using watercolor or just using ink for this, but chameleons are colorful, so I wanted to use watercolor. And I drew a chameleon because I love them and I'm obsessed with them, they're really cute, so yeah. And then day seven is a mandala. Mandala? Is that mandala? That's what it's called? But this day was fun because I did the sketch for it and then all I had to do was go over it with ink and I did some gold, so that was fun. Day eight is a skull and some lines and gold. That's kind of whatever. I didn't really know what to do this day. This day, too, I just kind of winged it. Because I'm also in school, so like I don't have so much time to work on the Inktober drawings, unfortunately. But... And then this is the drawing that I had for day four. So I just um, transferred the sketch onto here and repainted it. So this is what it would have looked like. This is what day four would have looked like if it went well. So I decided to try it again and it worked out this time. So that was good. Except you can kind of see right here, the same eyebrow kind of bled just a little bit right there. And then I added some gold. I added gold and silver to a lot of my drawings. Um, this day I wanted to, to do a girl holding a mask, but that didn't really work out and the hand is way just completely wrong but and then did like a pattern of leaves this I don't really like either but yeah and then that is all 
that I did in the sketchbook. Now on to the bigger drawings, paintings. So here is another portrait. This is like meant to be fabric around her, like clothing, and then I just did some pattern all around it. Here's the next day. Um, this is a painting that I've done before in watercolor and I sketched it again and thought it would make a cool like Inktober painting, so that's what I did. Also, the ink I was using just kind of spread when I mixed it with water, so it kind of left cool marks on it. Next day, oops. not sure why I decided to film right in this spot, because this just looks blue now. Actually, I think that's because this paper is different. This is Bristol. Next one. I just wanted to do something like kind of simple and something that wasn't so put together and structured. Next. This, I kind of wanted to make it look like an underwater scene. And, oh, that was the last drawing. So that is all my Inktober paintings and drawings. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed all of my Inktober videos. So I'm going back to uploading every Saturday now and possibly two videos a week, I'm not sure yet. But yeah, if you guys have any video requests, then let me know what you guys wanna see and I will try and do that. I've got a few videos planned and I have a video ready for next, next Saturday. What day is it? I'm not sure. Anyways, hope that you guys enjoyed this and I will see you in my next one.